Hey, welcome to this Windows channel, and this is a look and um, observation video of the new build of Windows 10 that was released today, January 27, build 14251. So six days after the release of the last build, we are already having a new build. So, you know, it's the third build in three weeks, and it really does seem that um, Gabriel Hall of Microsoft Insider Team was not joking when he said Insider Previews would come at a faster pace before Christmas. Now, what's new in here? Well, apart from the big leap in number, <laughs> unfortunately, really nothing. I haven't found a thing, and uh, even on looking on the web, there's really like not a lot here. So basically, uh, if we go first things first, the install went, um, it, it took a long time. It took as long for the install on this build as it did uh, the last time, which I thought was a kind of a long period of time. But it didn't crash, didn't have any problems. Uh, Edge seems to be back to its fast speed on this one. So, <coughs> so sorry, last time I was mentioning that you could right click on buttons and on right click on these buttons you could actually um, you know go back in time and see the different web pages and so on that was a cool little thing this week not much to report if you look at the watermark on the bottom right windows 10 pro insider preview evaluation copy built 14251 rs1 meaning redstone one release 1601241059. So um, a big jump in number, but it explained. Um, it's explained. Gabriel Hall um, or Gabe Hall explained that uh, historically the code base for mobile had a different OS version than the code base for PC, and the reason why is because the they were actually made by different teams but on Windows 10 all the teams were merged together into one big team and so that's why they wanted to bring the build number equal to mobile equal to everything so they um, basically jumped in the number to 14251 to match the mobile build number uh, that's why there's a big jump in number. Um, that big jump, you know, everybody was probably, and a lot of you are probably thinking, wow, there must be a lot of new stuff in here. Well, yeah, there's nothing new uh, since the last build. Once again, Gabriel Hall said, look, there's nothing new in here. Don't, don't search for anything uh, because this is basically fixes at the core of, of Windows, what is called one core, to make sure that everything is ready for the updates of the Redstone um, features, basically. So, what he says is, first of all, issues were fixed. So, if you were uh, a gamer, didn't want to go to the builds because there was um, crashes when switching from a Windows to full screen mode. Uh, uh, in game resolution changes that's fixed so gamers should be okay with this um, also fixed if you were using narrator magnifier or any third-party assistive technology to improve um, because of a disability that is also fixed so that should work here <coughs> sorry and um, also file explorer would crash frequently when the screen settings or the DPI or the zoom basically of Windows was set at 175%. That's fixed also. Um, <coughs> sorry. So basically, some of the things are fixed. Uh, one core, lots and lots and lots of improvement. Uh, somebody was asking me last time, what are the improvements? Basically, we don't really know um, because there's no real big explanation of the details of the fixes. But 
it's mainly stuff at the core of Windows to make sure that it works correctly everywhere all the time when Redstone updates and features are added and also kind of a, a stability thing you know because all that telemetry from the Windows 10 install is basically sending out information that Microsoft uses to fix the core of Windows. Now things that might happen in this build if you install it you might still see the wsclient.dll error dialog box when you're logging in for the first time. Um, that's for sure. You can still run the uh, command prompt in administrative rights to uh, fix it. Connect button still doesn't show up in the action center. So if you want to click connect, it doesn't work. And uh, due to a recent memory management change, you may see periodic app crashes or other memory related app errors. The workaround is to reboot the PC. So basically what they're saying is there are some problems with the way apps are handled in memory. So if you see that apps are starting to crash on you, um, what the remedy basically is to just reboot the PC and should fix things for a while. Uh, that's basically what they're saying. Uh, of course, if there's major issues that are not related here, they want to know about it. That's for sure. So uh, basically, that's pretty much it. Um, what I would say here for my experience, the uh, computer has been running that new build for about two hours and a half now and hasn't crashed, hasn't blue screened, hasn't done anything. I restarted once to see if anything happened. Nope, seems to work quite well. So the build does seem to be quite steady and uh, quite stable. So if you're looking for a build that's stable, it does seem so. But I got to say again, because, you know, last time a lot of people were saying, oh, I want to be on the Insider Previews, or some of you were really mad because they were crashing because you updated to Insider Preview. You know, I, I have to warn you again and again and again. Insider Previews are for tech enthusiasts that want to play around with new Windows versions. But they are unfinished software. It means it could crash. It could has, have all, all sorts of problems. So you cannot use your main computer for this. You cannot use a computer that you work every day with for this. It has to be on a dedicated machine. I have a dedicated laptop that you are viewing this on right now. This laptop is dedicated for Insider Previews. It's made just for that. So that's why I'm doing it. If I didn't have a dedicated machine, I only had one PC, I would not be in the, insider, in the insider program. And for those that want to still be insiders, even though you know the risks, but you're not sure, put in then the slow ring. The slow ring only gets really, really stable uh, releases. And the fast ring is for the tech guys that don't mind reformatting their computer if things go wrong. So uh, nothing really new. That's pretty much what I had to say about this new build. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos, and uh, give us feed, you know, any comments, suggestions, anything you want to know. It's always welcome. Thank you for watching.